Hello and welcome to a Friday Fun live stream directed draw. Um, feels like it's been such a long time since I've done one of these um, after skipping or missing last week's, but we're back. Um, and today is National Avocado Day, so we're going to draw some cute avocados. So I'm going to wait about three more minutes and then I'm going to get started. So what you'll need is a pencil, black marker or pen to trace, um, an eraser, and any of your coloring materials. I hope you guys have all been well and enjoying the gorgeous days. Um, and staying safe. All right, so I'm gonna get started. Um, I am going to do a smaller avocado. So I'm gonna turn my paper lengthwise. Um, so what we're gonna do is an avocado it's kind of boring if you're just doing the outside part. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw the avocado cut in half. So I guess we can turn it back around. This is actually going to be a pretty simplistic directed draw today. So um, depending, I may do another one after. So what you're going to do is an avocado is kind of shaped like a um, strange looking egg. I always think they kind of look like dinosaur eggs, but they're going to be kind of like an oval shape, except it's going to be a little bit pointier, longer on one side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here and... Remember when you're drawing, be sure to sketch it out, which means don't press too hard. I'm going to go a little darker so you guys can see it on the screen, but this is what I'm going to do. So we're going to do like an upside down U shape. I need 
to go a little darker. So you do like a little upside down U shape and then we're just gonna do a rounded shape down here. So it's kind of like a U. But you're gonna go down, up, like that. And it's okay if it's not straight on the edges. Make mine a little darker. And then I'm gonna go along the inside and pretty much outline it again. And we're gonna do a thin outline. So you're gonna be kind of close to the edge, but you're basically tracing what you just drew on the outside. So you have your outer skin of the avocado. Okay. Now once you do that, we're going to put the seed right in the middle. And usually it's kind of down here. So that's just going to be a circle. So try to do your best circle as best as you can. You can make it as big as you want. Um, probably not too big. but can make it small, whatever size you'd like the seed. So we've got that. And there is your avocado. So now if you want to make this a cute avocado we can draw a little face and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two dots and a little U for a smile and I like to give it some rosy cheeks so I'm gonna do two ovals and if you want you can add a little U shape right here so it looks like his mouth is open. And there we have a cute little avocado. So I'm going to go ahead and trace it with my black pen. Remember to go nice and slow, it's not a race. I think I'm actually going to give it a little shine in the eye. So I'm trying to use my whole arm when I'm tracing it so I can get smooth lines. And it's okay if you're not following your original line because we will erase our pencil lines afterwards. So we've 
traced it. I'm going to go ahead and erase my lines. And then we're going to color it. pencils out and if you have different color greens I suggest you get those um, I've got these probably not going to use all of them but we'll have those ready and then I'm gonna have a yellow and then And then I'm going to have some browns and some kind of tan colored. Okay, so the first part is I'm going to do this, the flesh. Um, actually, we might have to do the outside. So, usually that is kind of like a darker, like a black or a brown. have enough black so I'm going to be using like a navy blue and a dark brown so I'm going to go color the outside a little bit with the brown and then I'm going to go over it with the navy blue and kind of blend it so we're mixing it And I'm going to go over it kind of with the navy blue. And now I'm going to do the flesh. So I'm going to do the lighter color first. Um, let me see. So I'm going to go over the whole thing with this lime green color. So it's going to be the lightest green you have in your pencil box, your crayon box.
And then I'm going to take my yellow, and I'm going to kind of put a little bit of yellow just in the middle. Can't really see that, but... kind of around like that okay and then I'm going to use the next lightest green and kind of go over just kind of on the edges like that Sharpen this one. Next darkest. And we're just kind of layering on the different greens to show a little bit of dimension. And the darkest green just on the edges. These are some, I guess, special kind of color pencils. So the color pencils that I use, I've had this box for a really long, long time. I used it in high school, college, um, for my art classes, but it's called Prismacolors. And these are kind of expensive, but it comes, um, well, it doesn't come with it, but you buy a separate blending pencil and that's this clear kind of thing and you can go in and kind of blend it with it so I'm gonna blend some of this together you don't have to but you can kind of see my lines I want to <laughs> fix it up a little bit Okay, I'm going to go back and do this after I finish, but um, I'm going to go ahead and take my lightest tan color and kind of go over the seed. I'm gonna go around the mouth and the cheeks because we're gonna be coloring those a different color. So try to go around them as best as you can. Go back in with slightly darker. And I'm going to make sure that one side is a little bit darker than the other just so that I show that it's kind of three dimensional. So 
go like that. And I'm going to lightly color in the rest of it. Okay. And then I have my brown. Again, I'm going to color in this side a little darker. So I'm only going along one edge. So like it's like a C, half of it. And that way you can kind of make a shadow and kind of make it look three dimensional. And then lightly go over the other side. So I really like avocados um, on toast, salads, because it's really good for you. Um, it's got some good fats in it. Um, and I like to grow some avocado trees. Um, they're not exactly trees yet, but hopefully they will be. I've got two that I've planted. And they're kind of big now, but I've got four more that I've put in water. And uh, some of them, when you go and open the avocado, it already has the roots growing in. Um, I've had four of them do that, so I'm kind of like, oh, I don't want to throw it away. I want to see how much how it'll grow, so I need to stop getting avocados because it's I'm going to be overrun with avocados. <laughs> but they're really easy to do. You just take out the seed and you get a little um, face or you can even cut a water bottle and you can stick some toothpicks in it, put it in a sunny window and eventually a little plant will come out of it. So it's fun to do. Been doing a lot of gardening. Uh, planting seeds and all that during this quarantine. So it's fun to kind of watch plants grow. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish blending this. finish I'm gonna get some pink and maybe some red I'll do do a little tongue some pink and try to get like a light pink color and fill in the cheeks like that. and there you have half of an avocado
So you guys can do whatever you'd like with these. You can make a little border. Um, you can add some arms and legs. Make it cute. Make it your own. So let's see. So this one was a very simple little directive draw. Um, you can kind of make really cute food. Um, like strawberries, things like that. So we have a little bit of time, so I will do a few more. So we can do a strawberry. Strawberries are also easy. It's kind of like the same shape, except it's turned around. So what you do is you do like a pointed V. I'm going to move my paper like this. And you go up and you do two parentheses shapes. So two like curvy shapes up here. And then you kind of flatten it out. And then you do the leaves. I like to do a curvy V shape. Like that. And another kind of like an eye shape on this side and this side. So you do a curve like this and it's pointy on the end and you curve back around. And then from here, you kind of do a little stem, with some curves and some straight lines like that. I will try to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it better. There we go. So you have that. I'm gonna do the seeds after but then you go ahead and trace with your black marker or pen. So we have that. I don't think we've done a strawberry, I can't remember. We've done a lot though. And then you put in your little seeds. So they're kind of like teardrop shapes. Like that. And then if you want to put some details on your leaves, you can do some lines like that. and put some lines like that. And if you want to make a face, you can totally do that too and just put it right in the center. So, let me get my color pencils again. red And then you can take your green, 
and color in the leaf and the stem. And the little uh, seeds are kind of like a light tan color or brown. Sometimes they're black, but you can go like that. All right. So let me zoom back out again. Whoops. And let's see, what's another one we can do? We can do, I'll show you how to do a little watermelon. So you do an upside down V, you do a slice, and then you close it with a curve on the bottom. And you do another curve for the rind. I'm going to go ahead and trace that. And then you can put your seeds. Again, it's the teardrop shapes. You can go ahead and color those in black. And this top part is red, or you can do like a pink, like a magenta maybe. Sometimes watermelons can be a little lighter. And I'm going to take my light green and then kind of do a darker green. And then I like to do some lines like this with the darker one. And there you have your watermelon. Uh, let's do two more. We'll do two right there. Um, we will do... Um, what's another one we can do? I'm going to do a lemon. So, first you do like an oval shape because we're going to draw one that's cut in half. So, you have an oval like that. I'm going to do it in pen so I don't have to erase it. And you kind of curve and curve like that. And then do like a C shape and then attach the ends. And then before we do the inside, I'm going to do the other lemon and you're going to go curve down, do an upside down curve, and then do that C shape. And I like to put dots on one side. Because if you look at a lemon close up, it's kind of bumpy looking. And then what we do is we're going to do some triangles. So I'm going to do the letter V like that. The next to it, I'm going to do another letter V and it's not touching. And you're going to do letter V's all the way around. Leave some space at the ends because we're going to close it with a curve. 
that. And you're going to follow the outside oval, oval line. I can't talk today. And close it. Like that. If you want, you can add some little views. You don't have to. And then I'm going to color it yellow. If you want to draw a lime, it's basically the same thing, except you color it green. And on the inside, I'm only coloring in the triangles. You're leaving the outside white. I'll do the other one a lime so you guys can see. That one's a lemon and a lime. So we have a strawberry. Watermelon slice. Lemon and a lime. And the last one, let's see what's another easy one. Uh, let's do We can do a peeled banana. How about that? So, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to do like a little curve. So you're going to do a curve this way, and a curve this way, and then it gets a little wider. And you're going to close the end of it with a little curve like this. I'm going to add some lines and then I'm going to add a curve here and close it with like a soft V same thing on this side like that and then on this side and curve down like this curve and go back up and then from here, you're going to come down, do a straight line and go all the way back up and draw a line like this and like that and do a little cap on the bottom. And you can kind of do some lines here. And there we have a peeled banana. I'm going to do this kind of lightly with the yellow. And then the outside, 
we will do maybe a darker yellow. And then I'm actually going to do a line like this. So that's the peel, and we know it. So you have something like that. And we have a banana. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this direct draw of the avocado cute avocado and the extra little fruits that we drew um i hope you guys had fun we'll do another one next week friday at 11 right here once again and as always this is going to be posted on the youtube channel after we are done here but as always i hope you guys are doing well staying safe having fun and i'll see you next time